Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bella here and I am with some lovely ladies today and we're going to be going around the green. Each one of you guys has picked out a treacherous lie and we're just going to be explaining how to hit it and giving it a go. So I've got Isabella, Sophie, Camilla and Scarfie and um, Camilla, you're up first. Show I'm me what you got. All right, let's go over. Let's learn some stuff, yeah. Okay, Camilla, so we filmed so many good tutorial videos together. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. They're on YouTube. Um, explain to me what kind of pickle you've got yourself into today and how we're going to get out of it. Yeah, so we this have another interesting. interesting lie here. Yep. Um, happens sometimes, not very often, but there are different ways to get out of this lie. Uh, you can either use a hybrid or you can do what I'm going to do now, which is using my 54 degree wedge and I'm going to blade it. Oh gosh. Yes, uh, it sounds scarier than it is, but it's very effective uh, because it's a tough lie. The ball is sitting straight up against the very thick Bermuda grass here. And uh, it's very easy for whatever club you're using to get stuck in the grass. And then the ball just literally just roll away like a yard or so. Right. And you can't get any power on it. So by using uh, a wedge and blade it, it just cuts through the grass uh, a lot easier and you're going to hit more of the ball and then you're going to miss the grass and you're going to get all the power and it's going to make it to the hole. Okay. You can always okay. say you're going to thin it. Uh, which I can means do that. That you grip um, the club in sort of like a putter grip. So if you put left hand low like I do sometimes, <laughs> then I'm going to have a left hand low grip and I'm going to put the club up in the air and my goal is to hit the top right. of the ball. Because if I hit too low, I'm gonna hit the grass first and then the ball is just gonna wobble away like a yard or so. So if I wanna get the power out of this, I'm gonna put the club up in the air and I'm gonna try and aim just to hit the top of it. So we're gonna try and do that. Okay, nice. Okay. So you hit a uh, what, 54? I have a 54 in my hand. I usually like to just top it with a 54. Could you top it with any club? Um, no, because the fact is that a wedge has, to, uh, has a very thin sole, which helps the ball to go through the grass. Got ya. So we're just hitting the top like a normal putt. Yeah, normal putt. There you go. Ooh. Better than I do. Oh, I like that. Do you see how hot it comes out of the club? Yeah, because if I go like that, I'm yeah. just going to get stuck. The chance is that you're going to get stuck in this difficult Bermuda grass and you just don't know how the ball's going to come out. What should we name this shot, Cam? You can name it anything you want. Um, thin to win. Thin to win. Yeah. There you have it. There's the thin to win shot demonstrated by the beautiful Camilla Leno. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, Isabella. Yeah. What shot have we got here? Yeah, we got ourselves in a little bit of trouble here. So, yeah, this is the slope shot. This is what we're calling it? Yeah, the slope shot. The slope shot. Yeah, you really don't want to be in that. <laughs> so, what I think in this situation, I just look at the lie first, and then in, since we're downhill, I had to grab my 60 degree. And now what's really important is that you stand with the slope so you don't try to work against like gravity. Um, so yeah, so what I do, I just stand really wide, get myself down just as if I were to hit like a bunker shot. And I just use a lot of speed to swing, just get a good feel for it. And then, yeah, I'll try to get, get it up there. Work. Oh wow, that was clean. That was good, Bells. That's that all you have really to do. Good. Okay, Bells, this is like a nightmare shot for me. I hate slopes. Right. Um, I'm feeling very nervous. But <laughs> it's fine. So all you need to do is stand really wide. Really wide. How wide's wide? That one. Well, just comfortable. <laughs> just get a little bit comfortable. Okay. Open up the club face a I little really bit. I feel really comfy. Yeah. Yeah, get down there, and now you really want to put some speed on that So... <laughs> you guys beep that, okay? Put some speed on that That's my mindset. Let's go. 
I'm, so I'm leaning with the slope, lots yeah. of speed. Yeah. Confident shot. Exactly. Try not to hit the cameraman. Just commit to it, <laughs> always. Nice. Oh, that's so good. That is so yeah. good. <laughs> So you've named it the slope shot. The slope shot, yeah. Can you make it more exciting? I want a better name. The b shot. <laughs> the b shot. We're slope gonna beat this whole thing, aren't we? <laughs> right, up next, Sophie Pow. How are you doing, Sophie? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. What are you gonna show me We've today? We've got a flop shot today, so short-sided, so you've not got much green. And there's literally nothing else you can do apart from a really high flop shot snapping. What are we gonna call the shot? The Sophie's floppy flop. Yeah, the big flop. <laughs> the, big, <laughs> the iconic big the flop. The big flop. So it's basically you need to have like quite a wide stance, and the ball needs to be quite far forward, with a 60, 60 degree wedge or like the highest wedge you've got. You need to open the face. You literally just like twist the club round in your hand, and then from here you need to like really get shallow at the bottom with loads of speed because obviously you've hardly got any. You've got a lot of loft, so it's gonna. I'll try and show you now, okay? Okay. Oh, very nice. The big flop. The big flop. Okay, so if I'm so gonna give it a try go. Bell, yeah? Give yourself a nice line, mate. Ready? Yep. So it's front of your stance, yeah? So, forward position in front of the stance. Yep. Nice and wide. Yeah, so if you twist the grip now, if you twist it like this. Oh, yeah. Like that, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Open club face. Then you really want to get shallow at the bottom so it's like really coming in like this. Okay? Shallow. Basically, so the club head, feel, you're not going to flick your wrist, but you can see how if you, if you sort of get it really low to the ground, it's going to just slide right underneath the ball and just pop up. Okay. Give it a go. There you go. Pop. Could go in. Go. Oh. Great shot. Very nice. Thanks, Sophie. I Ooh. think that's one of my favourite shots, the flop shot. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? Yeah. So, Sophie, when would you use this shot and when wouldn't you use the notorious big flop? Um, you'd use it when it's literally not the last resort, but when you've really got nothing else to do. So, because the grass is so thick here, the club can get underneath it quite easily. Whereas, if you imagine if, it's re if this was cut really short, quite difficult you'd probably it'd probably bounce off the tight turf and you could thin it or blade it so really it's when there's no other option okay because it's quite a difficult shot to take awesome thanks so no worries right so final shot for today with Scarpy. are you going to show me scarps well today i'm going to show you a shot that um, i normally just use when i play in australia or the british open if you see up here uh, this is quite a big slope up to the pin mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes I feel it's a lot easier to keep the ball on the ground than actually hitting it up in the air. Um, especially if you don't have a lot of green to work with and it's downwind and it can be really hard to stop the ball. Um, I use one of these hybrids that normally would go about 180 meters. Well, we're going to hit this shot just like we hit a putt. Right. So why only in Australia and the British Open? Because very often um, the grass is really, really short and the lies are tight and it's hard to get a 60 degree under the ball. Um, so I feel very often that if you hit it with a hybrid, you take a lot of trouble out of play. So I just grip down on it. And I actually, I'm, I'm a little bit further away from the ball than when I'm putting, but everything else is just like I hit a putt, so I'll just use my shoulders. Oh, that was good. So what's the benefit of using a hybrid and not a putter? I feel that it's, you don't have to hit it as hard, because if I was going to hit a putt over all this grass, I would have to smash it. But as you saw on that one, I just, I just hit it probably like that, and it gets up to the pin, a bit more controlled. Okay, perfect, right, I want to try. You have to try. The technique grip, is... Grip, grip down. Gripping down. A bit closer to the ball. And now, a bit uh, forward press with your hands. Just hit it as a part. Good. That's the first Very time nice. I've ever done that. Believe it or it's not. It's a handy shot, isn't it? Yeah, I still see people doing it. I just think you're really cool. Yeah. 
What are we going to name it, Scarf? Well. What would you like to name your what? shop? <laughs> Scarfy Special. Scarfy Special. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something there. We had the Thin It to Win It, the notorious big flop, <laughs> the Scarpy special, and the <laughs> <laughs> And she cracked. The slopey bitch. <laughs> what an insult. Um, hope you learned something and you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more wonderful videos from some sexy ass bitches. <laughs> <laughs>